Hello YouTube, Warbles on a lot here. Let's have a little bit of a uh, solar panel performance test. Here we have the 40 watt panel that I located, sourced, bought for old mate Howard Eastwood. The multimeter says 20.7 volts open circuit and uh, when we reconfigure the multimeter to give us amps we get 2.8 amps open circuit here we have a 12 volt electric motor and over here we have a steam gauge oops I'm sorry it's an amp meter and the gradations on it are 0.4 of an amp so the idea is going to be first we start the motor by uh, Connecting the wires. And the electric motor is drawing 0.8 of an amp at 19.7 volts. So now let's see what happens when we put the brakes on the motor. Two point two, two point four, and we're getting sixteen, seventeen volts. Sixteen volts, two point two amps. So I would have to say, as an electric braking test. Stop it, we go down at bugger all. So it's very definitely getting 2.2 to 2.5 amps out of battery charging voltage. How's that for a cunning little setup, eh? Warbles is not quite as silly as he looks. Even got a paint mark on the wheel to give us a countable strobe and some idea of the RPM. So now let's have a look at those figures and compare it to what's on the back of the panel because, and this is important, the panel is currently running at about 40 degrees. Alright, maybe 45. And uh, that's important because this Powertech ZM9095 model SRS40M, which is a 40 watt it has a uh, volts open circuit 21.4 volts well we got better than that open circuit current 2.56 amps we got better than that volts maximum pressure when under load 17.2 volts 2.32 amps we actually saw that we saw around the 16 17 volts and we saw the 2.2 to 2.4 amps maximum voltage a thousand volts so that's for the um, people who cover the roof of their house with solar panels wire them all up in series and the panel has to cope with anything up to a thousand volts and this one will do it half a meter times 0.6 of a meter times 23 millimeters 545 645 23 and here we have the interesting one test conditions a thousand watts per square meter well that's midday at the equator on the equinox doesn't get any better than that anywhere on earth and 25 degrees Celsius. Now to get a solar panel like this running at 25 degrees Celsius, you're gonna need an air temperature of 10 degrees Celsius or below, and you're gonna need maybe a 25 mile an hour wind to blow the heat away from the panel. However, at uh, 40 to 45 degrees Celsius, this panel meets those specifications. And that makes me quite a happy little warbles because I used somebody else's money to buy this panel to put it on his car for him and he trusted me to get him a good panel and when I took it out of the box and I saw that it was temperature rated at 25 degrees Celsius I thought oh no I've gone and bought him a panel that's only actually a 30 watt panel right because that was what the PV manufacturers used to do a couple of years ago they would sell panels that never ever performed in real life 
anything like as good as what they said they would on the label on the back. Well, this one's just proved that at twice the rated temperature, it still pumps out the electricity. So I think it's going to do good things for Howard's car, and like I said, I'm well pleased. Ciao.